Welcome to Automate 8, Getting Started. This video demo is meant to provide an overview of Automate 8, a platform that delivers complete automation of business and IT processes. On the screen is a task administrator, which is the control center in Automate. It is here that you will create, edit, and manage your tasks. I'm going to create a task and call it Getting Started. Next, I'm going to select Properties from the toolbar, which is where you set or modify the property settings for the managed task. The most commonly used property settings is triggers. A trigger is an event, time, or condition that causes the task to automatically execute. Any number of these triggers can be used to kick off a task. We want to schedule a trigger that runs once daily at a specific time. The Exclude tab allows you to define specific times for the trigger not to run. The End tab allows you to specify a date and time to end the automated task. In Automate, you can view a log of events, such as an audit of all executed events, system events, and task events. The event log can also be exported into a CSV format. New in Automate 8 is a graphical calendar. Automate now displays past and estimated future executions of Automate tasks. Calendar views include by day, week, month, year, or by tasks scheduled to run. Now let's click Steps to open the Task Builder. The Task Builder is the development interface used to visually assemble a task or process that you want to carry out when it is executed. It is divided into three panes. In the left pane you have the Actions pane. The middle section is your Workspace. At the bottom you have the Debug pane. In the Action pane you can search for specific functionality, for example FTP. You want to drag and drop the FTP action onto the workspace. Notice all the activities you can perform within the FTP action library. In Automate 8, we now support FXP for copying files from one FTP server to another with an FXP compliant server. We want to select logon from the activity list for this example. Expand credentials to provide the FTP host, username, and password. And when you're done, just click OK. Let's upload a file to the FTP server. We'll select a local text file to upload. For remote files, let's connect directly to the FTP server and select a location on the directory. So since we have already established an FTP session, we want to expand credentials and select session based and click OK when you're done. And finally we want to log off. Let's run these three steps and automate. Now to summarize, we logged on to an FTP server, we uploaded a file to the FTP server, and we logged off. 
all without writing any code. So now let's open a website using the web browser action. Notice that Automate now supports additional browsers including Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. Let's type in Network Automation's homepage and run this step only. Now that I have several steps, I can use my region management utility to create regions to better manage my steps and automate. We want to select the first three FTP activities, create region, then label the region FTP. The same can be applied to the web browser activities. Let's look at some other new functionality within the network folder. AS2, which is a protocol for transporting data securely and reliably over the Internet. We also have support for Microsoft SharePoint 2003, 2007, and 2010. This allows you to automate the creation, deletion, and modification of SharePoint activities. We also support Exchange uh, 2003. 2007 and 2010. You can automate various exchange activities such as managing contacts, appointments, tasks, and emails. If we scroll down, you'll notice our integration with Amazon Web Services Cloud Resources. A full range of activities can be performed on most of Amazon Web Services, including Amazon Simple Store Service, Amazon Simple DB, the popular Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, and Amazon Relational Database Service. With EC2, for example, Automate can manage the automatic provisioning of EC2 instances when on-premise servers malfunction or experience performance degradation. Just below AWS, we have support for VMware, which allows you to perform various operations on VMware virtual machines such as power on and off, take snapshots, clone a VM, manipulate files and directories, and much more. Lastly, if you click on My Actions tab, you'll notice that all my regularly used actions are automatically added to my favorites. Thank you, and that concludes the session of Automate 8, Getting Started.